So we just filmed our last episode ever in this movie room because I am moving. That's right, so The Boy Who Cried Werewolf will be the last episode ever shot in this room. I thought I'd take this chance to kind of give a sneak peek of what's in here. Some people have asked a little tour of the movie, nerd room, whatever you want to call it. I'll be packing up this week, so this is a great time to kind of go through here and have a little movie room, nerd room tour. Okay, so here we go into the movie nerd room. Take a look at the corner here. Here we are. Here's the whiteboard we use to make notes for all the episodes we shoot. There's a notes for the boy who cried werewolf right there. Okay, here's the Ghostbusters closet. We got here the Spirit Halloween Proton Pack, which is heavily modded. Did a lot of additions to that. Down below here we have the Spengler Proton Pack from Hasbro, from Haslab, which I don't have room for at the moment, so it's just sitting there. Here's the Ghostbusters jumpsuits. There's the movie version and the real Ghostbusters Egon version, which I used for Halloween one year. Here is a legit 84 Ghostbusters t-shirt that Justin found for me in the wild. Here we have the Ghostbusters Afterlife figures. I only bothered getting the original crew because I just really like the way they look when they're old with the gray hair. And come on, Winston looks badass. Here we have the real Ghostbusters Hasbro reissue of the original Kenner line. Ghost Popper reissue next to the original one, which I had originally back in the day as a kid, and then I lost it and found this one at Value Village. Here is the Ghostbusters board game. I've always loved that artwork. I was always obsessed with it as a kid and still my favorite piece of Ghostbusters artwork. Here is what remains of all my Batman figures. I had so many as a kid. Tons of Batman figures, lots of Batmobiles, like two Bat Caves, but you know, the old man threw it all out and this is all that's left now. And I can't believe I still have some accessories left over here. TV shows on VHS, so here's a bunch of Avengers episodes and Doctor Who episodes. Here are some weird kind of action and comedy movies that we got in the VHS raffle that we held last year. Weird kind of stuff I've never really heard of some of this. Uh, the Destroyers, The Driver. As you can see, I'm kind of running out of room for VHS, so I, there's no proper way to sort these anymore. So there's just random stacks of VHS that... Some of it's from the VHS raffle, some stuff like this I found in the wild, Wizards of the Lost Kingdom. I always liked that cover, but that movie is tacky as hell. Some of the stuff I haven't even seen yet, like Scanners 3 over here. And uh, behind here is like a lot of the original VHS that I got back in the day when the movie stores first were closing down and just kind of really blowing their VHS out, all these Highlanders. 1969, that movie kind of sucks, but here's the, all the, of course, Batmans, Braveheart, me and Justin are huge Braveheart fans, Bloodsport, big Bloodsport fan, and working on collecting all the Children of the Corns, I'm still missing part two and part four, gotta find those somewhere, here's some more weird things, Sleepy Hollow, completely forgot that I even had that, here are, these are cool Star Trek toys, I've always liked these, uh, look at Kirk, I love the alternate Kirk green shirt. Mummy movies here, I was lucky to find a mummy box set at Valley Village Martin, which our buddy Carl actually gave to me as he did this Night of the Zombies. You might remember Carl from the VHS raffle wearing the sick wig and tacky sweater. I found these King Kong VHS at Valley Village 2. Last Horror Show, that's a really cool Joe Spinell movie. Meat Market, Carl gave that to me too. Here's just, of course, more horror VHS. A lot of this video is just going to be this horror VHS. Here, that Ted Bundy, that actually had mold on it. Blackout, that's kind of a neat movie. This is a made-for-TV movie. Dark City, that's great. I wish I had more Nightmare on Elm Streets on VHS. I think I just have part one and four. A lot of these are from the VHS raffle. You know, some of it I have just for the sake of having, like Wishmaster 2, Dracula 2000, Phantoms, like... Who cares about a lot of those movies? It's just kind of to add to the collection. It looks good on the shelf. Bloodhook, Beverly Hills Vamp. Those are actually pretty fun movies. Bloodhook's a lot of fun. Graduation Day, that actually wrecked my VCR. Uh, behind here are actually some alphabetically sorted VHS uh, that, of course, the random stuff is now stacked in front of. But, like, you know, 
when it originally started collecting VHS before DVD, stuff like Texas Chainsaw Massacre, all the sequels, even some Toxic Avenger sequels in there. This Evil Dead lunchbox I've had since like high school. Candyman, uh, Jack B. Nimble, that was a really cool find in the wild. That is a really neat horror movie uh, starring Alexis Arquette. It's super underrated. We're going to cover that for sure one day. Exorcist 2. What an utter, complete piece of shit. This is the exact copy of Exorcist 2 that we used for our Trash or Treasure intro when I'm in the garbage can. That intro has now become our outro because we've learned over time that intros kill viewer retention. So intros are bad, 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 bad in the land of YouTube. Here's just some more random stuff, Breed Apart. I haven't even watched half of these movies. Lionheart, that's kind of a neat movie with Eric Stoltz, like a medieval movie, Planet of the Apes. I have all of them except for part one, which is kind of strange. Best of the Best 2, we love Best of the Best 2. And here's just a random stack of horror VHS on the ground for some reason. I can't wait to find a bigger house so I can properly display all this, like all the wrestling and UFC VHS. Over here we have the music stuff, the Beatles Anthology, that's great, I love the Beatles Anthology. Uh, help? Come on, like, Help is like one of the funniest movies ever made. It's practically Python before Python. Some things they have duplicates of, because God forbid a tape gets eaten. And here's all the comedy, as you can tell there's not nearly as many as there are horror. Of course I have multiple copies of Ghostbusters here, because I was looking for the exact copy that I remember as a kid with all the trailers after the movie that I remember is purely for nostalgia. Same thing goes with Labyrinth here. As you can tell, I got many copies of Labyrinth because I was seeking out a very specific version with the specific trailers I remember before the movie. And this is the one you want right here, the Embassy Entertainment version. So actually, there's a story here. Justin found this exact version in the wild and was going to keep it for himself and really held my feet to the coals and then actually gifted it to me for my birthday this year. So I'm super grateful for that. Star Wars widescreen edition on VHS. So this is the mostly unaltered version of Star Wars. So I can actually watch unaltered version of Star Wars on widescreen. The only other way to really find that is the Laserdisc version. So here are some more random toys and stuff. Got some Star Trek, Klingon Bird of Prey. My collection of movie cars, a couple of Ecto-1s, Back to the Future 3, DeLorean, the kind of altered DeLorean to get it on the rail tracks. McFarland Movie Maniacs, you can tell how old some of these are, how faded and yellow the plastic has gotten on a lot of these. A lot of these I got when they first came out. Just got this Michael Myers mask this year finally. Always wanted a Michael Myers mask and finally got one. This Phantom of the Opera is actually given to me by fellow YouTuber and Winnipegger Jeremy from Black Magic Craft. These Universal figures came out in like the 80s. My dad got them for me and actually built me a laboratory playset for them. Just some random TV shows on DVD. There is the Freddy Krueger mask that you may remember from our review on Freddy's New Nightmare. These Metallica figures, I've been tempted to sell those for ages. I don't even know why the hell I have those. A uh, cool Aussie figure, as you know, Aussie just retired from touring and then announced a show. Jason Voorhees hiding behind the curtains. This alien mask was also gifted to me by another YouTuber, Adam, over at Shadow Alley Productions. Gave me this mask, it's super cool, you may notice it from uh, the Bungalow of Blood episodes. David Carradine from Kill Bill. I'm a huge David Carradine fan and I don't mind the Kill Bill movies, but I had to have that one figure. Kenny Omega, Winnipegger, and one of the best wrestlers of all time. Super proud of that guy. Remember watching him wrestle in front of 15 guys in a shitty bar here in Winnipeg. And just some CDs. I can't seem to, to part with the CDs. And, of course, a comic long box. Uh, I'm not going to go through all these, but maybe just pull out some random ones here. What do we got here? Uh, Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man. Me and Justin were both kind of obsessed in finding and collecting all the black costume Amazing Spider-Man issues. And I don't think either of us actually have the whole collection of the black costume. But uh, we got most of them. Uh, probably between the two of us we have all of them. 
Uh, I was kind of also into Batman too. I got some random Batman comics. Uh, here is where Bane breaks Batman's back right there. I remember finding that and not even reading it because I didn't want to open it. It looked too cool. A lot of these actually I haven't read. Uh, these Dark Knight ones I actually have read because they're not worth much, so I don't mind if they get a little destroyed. These are here, Ghostbusters comics by IDW. These are great. Any Ghostbusters fan, I recommend these IDW Ghostbusters comics for because they really capture the essence of the movies. And just some random stuff, like when you're a, a kid and you don't have much money, you just buy whatever you can, the cheapest stuff, and... Here, Spider-Man 2099. That's pretty cool. That's a neat series. Uh, I've actually read that one. The random cheap Superman stuff. Kind of just, there we go. Superman's dead. Who didn't have that? Everyone had it. It's not even worth any damn money. Here, look at Random VHS sitting on my bookshelf. Scarecrow. That had mold on it. Couldn't watch it. I Am Legend. We just used this book to compare the novel to all three movies. And here's just some random graphic novels of course batman huge batman fan books on music and wrestling i'm a big wrestling fan uh, those two pack ones aren't mine the spangler neutrona wand uh, from has labs this will be attached to the spangler pack that we saw earlier in the box but i don't have really room to assemble all that you know ghost face mask that was actually supposed to be used for a routine that we didn't shoot last year Bill Mosley as Chop Top, iconic character, and just some random stuff I have here. Oh, uh, these are pretty cool behind all this. These Doctor Who toys. Uh, Doctor Who playset. Now, it's a real shame that I broke the Dalek. And that would probably be worth a lot of money if the gun didn't snap off the head of the Dalek. Uh, that's, that's really shitty. It's, they're really cheaply made toys. And here is something that's really cool. Uh, this was made by our good buddy Carl. This is my frightfully forgotten toy. It's kind of like a reaction style toy. He got one for me and he got one for Justin. Well, I shouldn't say got. He made one of me and made one of Justin. This is super cool. That's that's one of a kind, and that's pretty much it. I think that's the end of the movie, nerd room, collectible room tour. Uh, you know, this random Forbidden Planet poster hiding behind the door. And just take one look around before I actually have to pack all this stuff up and put it into storage. Well, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the little tour of the nerd room. It'll all be packed up and torn down in a couple of weeks. And where it's going... I got no clue, because I don't know where I'm moving yet. It's a little fucking stressful, but when I find a new place and it's all rebuilt and I have myself a bigger, better movie nerd room, I'll probably give you guys a little tour of that as well. So until next time, we'll keep shooting at Justin's place, and one day, hopefully soon, you'll see the new room. <laughs>